students in this lecture we will discuss about the nitrogen fixation what is nitrogen fixation and uh, how the nitrogen fixation takes place so we will discuss in this video about the types of nitrogen fixation we know that around 78% of the atmosphere is nitrogen gas so nitrogen is very abundant in the atmosphere still it cannot be uptake by the plants plants cannot uptake nitrogen directly likewise there is water 70% uh, water in the earth on the earth but we can't use all the water because the water is salty that is sea water so likewise there is n2 but this n2 cannot be taken by the plants because this n2 is not active chemically it has triple bond so it cannot be absorbed in the biological systems so what should be uh, so how can we uptake the uh, nitrogen how can plant can uptake the nitrogen they can uptake the nitrogen only by fixing this nitrogen gas so if nitrogen gas can be fixed to some available forms that can be easily absorbed in the biological system that is known as bio, uh, that is nitrogen fixation so nitrogen fixation is nitrogen fixation is the conversion of nitrogen into easily available forms is nitrogen fixation now uh, before going to the nitrogen fixation types we should understand about the role of nitrogen in the plants so what is the role of nitrogen in the plants it is the second major component why it is a building block why because amino acids they are made up of nitrogen and amino acids they form proteins and proteins are very important that are in growth so growth of biological systems it depends upon proteins and proteins are made up of nitrogen so nitrogen is the unit of amino acids then amino acids form proteins and proteins are important in the growth and uh, this uh, nitrogen is also important it is important part of our genetic material like uh, this uh, dna rna so because it is the important part so it is also important in reproduction and hereditary so hereditary may be this is important and it is important in reproduction uh this besides these it is also a part of chlorophyll cytochromes alkaloids and many vitamins so it also plays a key role in the metabolism so the nitrogen is very important constituent of the plants now the sources of nitrogen in soil so what are the sources of nitrogen in soil the main source is the atmospheric nitrogen that is around 78% which cannot be utilized by the plants in this form but it is the source of nitrogen then nitrates nitrites and ammonia they are the other forms of nitrogen among these nitrates are very important nitrogen sources in the soil chief sources then amino acids amino acids from where they come uh, in the soil these amino acids they come in the soil from the dead organic matter okay so these are the sources of nitrogen in the soil now the types of nitrogen fixation so it is necessary to fix the nitrogen why because nitrogen cannot be uptaken by the plants directly so uh, for the fixation of nitrogen there can be it can be classified into two types one is non biological and other is biological so non biological means this fixation occurs in absence of biological constituents so it does not require any biological material 
मेटीरियल मीन्स एनी बायोलॉजिकल ऑर्गेनिज्म टू फिक्स द नाइट्रोजन वाइल इन द बायोलॉजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन दैट बायोलॉजिकल ऑर्गेनिजम्स दे आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फिक्स द नाइट्रोजन दिस नॉन बायोलॉजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन इज ऑफ टू टाइप्स फिजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन एंड केमिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन दिस बायोलॉजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन इट कैन ऑल्सो बी डिवाइडेड इंटू टू टाइप्स सिम्बायोटिक नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन एंड नॉन सिम्बायोटिक नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन फर्स्ट स्टार्ट विथ फिजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन सो इन केस ऑफ फिजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन यू नो द फिजिकल सो फिजिकल फैक्टर्स ऑफ द एटमोस्फेयर दैट आर दैट आर द नेचुरल फैक्टर्स थंडर लाइटनिंग दीज आर द फैक्टर्स दैट कैन कॉज द नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन इन द एटमोस्फेयर एंड दिस इज नोन एज फिजिकल नाइट्रोजन फिक्सेशन एंड ड्यूरिंग दिस द एटमोस्फेरिक नाइट्रोजन कन्वर्ट्स इन टू सॉलिबल नाइट्रेट्स एंड नाइट्राइट्स दैट कैन बी इजिली टेकन अप बाय द प्लांट्स these are the different reactions during physical nitrogen fixation you can see that during lightning a lot of dis electric discharge was there so in the presence of this electric discharge the atmospheric nitrogen reacts with the atmospheric oxygen and thus form nitric oxide and this nitric oxide then uh, oxidizes in presence of atmospheric oxygen and converts into nitrogen peroxide this nitrogen peroxide when reacts with the rain water it converts into acids okay so this is nitrous acid hno2 and hno3 nitric acid and these nitric acids and nitrous acids when they reacts with the potassium and calcium salts that are present in the soil then they converts into nitrates and these nitrates can easily be uptaken by the plants these are the other reactions which can uh, take place in the soil uh, then calcium oxide present in the soil uh, the ammonia present in the soil it can react with uh, nitric acid or nitrous acid thus they can form calcium nitrate ammonium nitrate ammonium nitrite and these forms they are soluble so they can be easily assimilated or consumed by the plants so they can uh, the uh, the uh, elect the soils deficient with nitrogen they can taken up the nitrogen in this form this is the chemical nitrogen fixation so now we will discuss what is chemical nitrogen fixation chemical nitrogen fixation is the conversion of nitrogen to ammonia through chemical process so here the chemical process uh, has been done and this process is known as hebers process by which the ammonia can be generated from n2 and its reaction with hydrogen at very high temperature and this temperature is around 400 to 450 degree centigrade and the atmospheric pressure should be around 200 or more than 200 atm and it also requires the iron as catalyst so you can see that how much energy is required to break the bond between nitrogen and nitrogen and the nitrogen molecule to convert it into nh3 so you can see that this is an industrial process and chemically we can fix the nitrogen and convert it into the uh, easily soluble ammonia so but this is a very energy consuming process so this is a type of uh, non biological nitrogen fixation now come to the biological nitrogen fixation so what is biological nitrogen fixation so biological nitrogen fixation is uh, simply the reduction of atmospheric nitrogen to ammonium ions by oxygen sensitive enzyme you should note it the enzyme nitrogenase 
which is present in the bacteria. This is an oxygen sensitive enzyme and this conversion also requires ATP. Okay, so the, the, the most requirement of the biological nitrogen fixation is the nitrogenase enzyme that is present in the bacteria or microorganism that means that is the biological system so it requires the biological system to fix the nitrogen to the available forms this reaction is showing the biological nitrogen fixation so in this reaction you can see that this nitrogen it is converting into ammonium ions in presence of ATP okay so ATP is also necessary then nitrogenase is necessary so in presence of nitrogen you can see that nitrogen is converting into ammonia or ammonium ions and one mole of hydrogen is also produced during this biological nitrogen fixation so you have to remember nitrogen then this is a reducing agent we will see these are the requirements for the biological nitrogen fixation then ATP, then nitrogenase. And you have to remember that one mole of hydrogen also evolved during biological nitrogen fixation. During uh, biological nitrogen fixation, we have studied two categories. One is non-symbiotic nitrogen fixation and other is symbiotic nitrogen fixation. So in case of non-symbiotic nitrogen fixation, you will find that there is no symbiotic relationship between microorganism and the plant. So here the, the microorganisms, they are called to be free living microorganisms so they may involve bacteria bacteria may be aerobic or may be anaerobic they may include uh, this uh, fungi or they may include blue green algae so these uh, free living microorganisms they can fix uh, nitrogen non symbiotically they are free living the symbiotic nitrogen fixation. So as you know the term symbiotic. So symbiotic means the two organisms, they uh, live with each other with the beneficial effects towards both sides. So both, uh, uh, both, be, uh, both are beneficial, both have beneficial interactions. So one give the one thing to the other and other will give something to the other so this is a kind of symbiotic relationship so in this symbiotic nitrogen fixation the microorganisms present in the soil they live symbiotically inside the plants okay so they live symbiotically inside the plants while uh, you have uh, uh, studied that the non-symbiotic uh, microorganisms they are free living okay so they have not uh, uh, no interaction with the plants but the symbiotic microorganism they live inside the plant and they give the uh, uh, food to the microorganism and microorganisms provide them nitrogen fixed nitrogen so this is the symbiotic kind of relationship now this can be categorized into three types one is nodule formation so no leguminous plants may show the symbiotic nitrogen fixation then non-leguminous plants may show the uh, nitrogen fixation so but in both cases nodule formation takes place sometimes without nodule formation nitrogen fixation can occur so these are the example of different kind of association uh, biological associations through which nitrogen fixation can occur so this is the case of symbiotic relationship here you can see that the nodules are formed in the root of the leguminous plant and here the plant can provide carbon source to the bacteria 
and bacteria will provide nitrogen to the plant. So this is a symbiotic relationship. Like in this plant, you can see that there is association kind of relationship and these two relationships, they are non-symbiotic relationships. Here, the association of this microorganism is uh, not pure. So this is casual association and here the root exudates that are the chemicals uh, released from the roots of the plant, uh, they provide the food material to the uh, this microbes. Okay, so and then microbe they can fix the nitrogen at the rhizosphere. Then uh, here they are the free living uh, microorganisms, and these free living microorganisms they are maybe of two types. They may be autotrophs and they may be heterotrophs. So autotrophs, they can ex they can uh, prepare their own food through photosynthesis, while the heterotrophs, they can uh, obtain their food from plant residue. So these can also uh, fix nitrogen, but this is non-symbiotic relationship. The hair nitrogen can also fix, but through non-sympathetic relationship. Now uh, we will categorize the nitrogen fixers into three types. So three types they include cyanobacteria, heterotrophic bacteria and symbiotic bacteria. So these can be classified as per the protection uh, mechanism of nitrogenous enzyme. So as we have studied that the nitrogenous enzyme is oxygen sensitive. So these three fixers, they have certain mechanism to protect the nitrogenous from oxygen. So first, uh, the case of cyanobacteria, this is an autotropic nitrogen fixer and it protects nitrogenous through their special heterocyst cells. Okay, so I will show you the heterocyst cells. Here you can see the heterocyst cells. So these heterocyst cells, they are present in cyanobacteria and these heterocyst cells, they protect the nitrogenase from oxygen. Again, we will see the second category that is heterotropic bacteria. And these heterotropic bacteria, they are free living or may be associative with the rhizosphere. So they have a different kind of mechanism. And that mechanism is the respiration. So the oxygen present in the rhizosphere, they take up and use in the respiration. And thus, it, uh, they convert oxygen to carbon dioxide and thus provide nitrogenous uh, oxygen-free environment. The third category is the symbiotic bacteria. So in the symbiotic bacteria, they provide the host bacteria carbon as the energy source. Uh, these may be the leguminous or non-leguminous microorganisms and the nodules of these symbiotic plants, they contain leg hemoglobin and this leg hemoglobin is a kind of protein that binds with oxygen and thus it provides the oxygen free environment thus protect the nitrogenous enzyme from oxygen. So on the basis of their uh, the uh, the mechanism to protect the nitrogen from oxygen, the nitrogen fixers can be classified. This slide is showing the nodules in a leguminous plant. So these nodules, they are pink in color and these this pink color is due to the lag hemoglobin in the nodules that can carry the oxygen, that can bind the oxygen and carry the oxygen to the bacterioids and thus provide the nitrogenous and oxygen-free environment. So this is the cycle, this is the rhizobium leguminoserum which lives inside the plant nodules and it fix nitrogen to ammonia and present in the leguminous plant and this leguminous plant it provides the rhizobia 
the fixed carbon, the carbon source that are maltose, sucrose and other carbon sources as energy sources. So this kind of uh, uh, the nitrogen fixation is called as symbiotic nitrogen fixation. Why? Because uh, rhizobia, it fixes nitrogen for the plant and plant will provide carbon as energy source to the bacteria. We can conclude the lecture. In this lecture, we have studied about the nitrogen role in the plants, their source in the soil, uh, nitrogen fixation, the types of nitrogen fixation, the types of nitrogen fixers. So this is all about today's lecture. Thank you very much.